Listening for viewpoints. You will hear a report once. It is about three minutes long. Then six questions will appear. Choose the best way to answer each question from the drop down menu. A thought experiment is a type of experiment that's carried out only in our imagination. These types of experiments help us to consider a hypothesis, theory, or principle for the sake of thinking about its results and consequences. The Swamp Man is one famous thought experiment designed by the American philosopher Donald Davidson. He first introduced it in his 1987 paper titled Knowing One's Own Mind. The experiment goes something like this. Suppose Davidson went out for a walk in the swamp one day and gets hit by lightning and dies as a result. Magically, at the exact same time, in another part of the swamp, the lightning rearranges some molecules into the exact same form of Davidson's body, molecule by molecule. This new being, which he calls the Swamp Man, is identical to Davidson down to the smallest respects. Now, the big question is, is the Swamp Man really a person? Can the Swamp Man think? Does this being have the same thoughts as Davidson? And does he have the same memories and recognize the same people? There are two broad reactions to this thought experiment the internalist's response, and the externalist's response. Let's start with the internalists. This group argues that the Swamp Man will be no different from Davidson. This outcome results from their belief that conscious experience and thoughts are causal conclusions of electrochemical processes that the brain produces, rather than just being their formal representations. In other words, they say that the brain is the seat of the mind and its physical structure forms and defines the mind. While they do acknowledge the virtual impossibility of an atom-by-atom -atom copy of Davidson, they argue that such a being would be a Davidson, if not the Davidson. Externalists, on the other hand, think that conscious experience is in no way reducible to electrochemical reactions of the brain, and hence neural structure. So basically, what they're saying is that the mind is more than the physical constituents of the brain. Davidson's experiences and causal history are what make him who he is. If you take away all of this causal history, the individual will be left without any causal background of thought and thus any cognizance. Any utterance made by this being will have no meaning. Therefore, not only is the Swamp Man not Davidson, but it cannot even be seen as a human at all.